timeline question. The, you know, the president, you and you all have, have repeatedly said, and I, it sounds like he said again at the meeting today, that the U.S. is in this for as long as it takes, right? So as the president goes back to voters to face re-election, as a president who has in the past criticized the length of some of the wars that we've been engaged in in Afghanistan and Iraq, does is there any <coughs> responsibility for the president to be specific about with the voters about how long he is he thinks the United States should be willing to be involved in this? Should he be willing to say two years, five years, ten years, twenty years? Like how long you know, is does does he commit the United States to to being in this system in this situation of of what is costing tens and tens of billions of dollars on a regular basis? For as long as it takes means for as long as it takes, and the president has been very very honest about that. Um, every other leader on the call also, um, in their own way, emphasized the their commitment again for as long as it takes. Now look, I mean everybody. <laughs> We'd all like this war to end tomorrow. It could if Mr. Putin would do the right thing. Certainly the Ukrainians want it to end. Nobody wants to see this go on any longer. But it is their war. I, I, I understand that we are the leading contributor of support, but the Ukrainians are the ones fighting this war. We don't have American troops on the ground. So it's a, not a fair comparison to make with Iraq or Afghanistan where you had American boots on the ground. This is Ukraine's war. They're fighting it. We are helping them fight it. We're giving them the foreign assistance that we ourselves have benefited from in our own history. Uh, and again, we're going to work as hard as we can with might and main to, to make it possible for Ukraine to end this war as soon as they can. But it has to be done on, in terms that President Zelensky is comfortable with, the Ukrainian people can accept, and that ends up with a whole, free, prosperous Ukraine with international recognized borders. Is forever war a fair term to apply to this? I don't think so.